guys, it's time to see some diffusion in action. So I've got my setup here with three cups um, that I'm gonna have water at different temperatures in. I've got some food coloring. I'll pick my favorite color. Um, I've got a timer. Um, and then my microwave and my refrigerator are behind me. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. All right, so in cup one, I'm gonna put about a cup of water, which I've already measured out. And then I'm just gonna put this in the fridge for an hour and I'm gonna let it get nice and cool. So this one's going to the fridge. So now that cup is in the fridge and in cup two, I'm going to put a cup of room temperature water and then I'm going to add a drop of food coloring, my favorite color, and I'm going to time how long it takes for that drop to diffuse or spread out in the water. So let's do that. There's my cup of water. Three guesses what color I'm going to pick. This is graded. Just kidding. I'm actually just doing blue because I think it's easier to see than some of the others. So as soon as I put my drop of water or my drop of food coloring in, I'm gonna press start. So one, two, three, boom. And let's see how long that takes for it to spread out. So it's getting close to three minutes here and my food coloring has spread out a fair amount. I'm gonna take a picture of what it looks like at three minutes and we can compare that to the other glasses, okay? So now it's time for my hot water experiment. So I need another cup of water. I'm gonna heat it up this time and then we're gonna add one drop and start our timer. So I've got hot water. I'm gonna use the same color for the sake of keeping things consistent and only having one variable. And I'm gonna drop a drop in and start my timer. So. Drop, start, and let's watch. Time for our last data piece. Um, I've got my water in the fridge, so I'm gonna go grab that. Here we go, glacial freeze water, nice and cool. And we're gonna do the exact same thing, this time for our cold water. My blue food coloring. Ready to press start and Get you guys the prime action shot. So we're a little over three minutes now, so I'm gonna pause this. Oops. And I want you guys to notice that in this case, 
our blue mostly just sunk to the bottom and it hasn't spread out. So even if you didn't see a big difference between the room temperature and the warm water, this one's pretty interesting because the diffusion basically stopped or it's going so slowly in the cold water, we really only see the blue at the bottom.